12th International Fair of Pet Shop Merchandise Pet Fair. About 70 exhibitors. About 20 companies from the aquarium trade. Aquascaping Contest Brilux. Aquascaping Contest Shrimp Set. Altogether over 40 freshwater and marine aquariums. I invite you to watch the first part of my aquaristic report from Petfair, presenting aquariums arranged by companies and fish keepers clubs. The exhibition hall just after the entrance was accessible without tickets. Several tanks were shown here, most of them were planted tanks. Just by the entrance stood an unusual oval-shaped aquarium setup. Composition of rocks and plants with a large shoal of tiger barbs. The barbs apparently preferred the rocky part of the tank. But they were probably more interested in the shade provided by plants floating on the water surface. Nearby, the Oleg company presented a brackish aquarium. Several monodactylus and two archerfish, which appear only seldom in Polish aquarium exhibitions. A little further, Fishkeepers Association from Kielce presented a large planted tank. Beautiful composition created with at least a dozen of various plant species. A huge Bolbitis hudeloti was planted on the left side of the tank. The foreground was filled with Blixa and Lomariopsis fern. In a not too bright lighting, on the background of lush green plants, a large shawl of neon tetras perfectly fitted into the composition. In my opinion, it was probably the most impressive aquarium shown during the first. It was only a pity that the tank stood in such a bright place. Reflections on the glass almost drove me mad during filming. And now we proceed to the main hall of the first. Although there were not many exhibitors from the aquarium trade, I still didn't have enough time to film all the tanks. However, I filmed most of them, thus creating a quite comprehensive overview of what fishkeepers could see during the first. Probably the biggest stand on the first belonged to the company Aquael. However, only few tanks were shown here. The biggest was this marine aquarium set Reef Max. And inside several species of soft and hard corals, like this greenish Euphilia, two clownfish hovering in the water, and one pyjama cardinal fish and some shrimps hiding in the middle of the tank. And this is a large marine tank on the stand of the Aquamedic company. Fish being constantly on the move and coral polyps waving in the water current. In the foreground bright green Euphilia. Such tank would not be complete without some clownfish. And this is a young sargeon fish, Paracanturus hepatus. 
yellow zebra soma and in the background vesicles of Plerogyra coral. Fire gobies Nematele otris magnifica were the most calm fish in the tank. There were two fish of this species in the tank, but only one of them willingly posed for filming. Fire gobies stayed on the side of the tank. Only when filming through the side wall I was able to fully bring out their beauty. Next to the large tank, Aquamedic presented small aquarium with some invertebrates. Bright light of LEDs allowed for excellent reproduction of colors. Cleaner shrimp, Lismata amboinensis. And the owner of those long white antennae is a young spiny lobster, Panulirus versicolor. The colorful rock in the front part of the tank was covered by various small marine organisms. And in the foreground, intensively orange flame scallop Lima scabra. On the stand of the Aquamarine Company, the attention of visitors was attracted by acrylic marine aquarium with colorful illumination. Low and white tank with a cascade in the middle. It turned out that the color of the illumination can be changed. The luminaire installed above the tank contained LEDs of four colors. The brightness of each color could be adjusted with the knobs on the controller. In the luminaire there were white LEDs, blue LEDs, red LEDs and also ultraviolet LEDs, but during the filming they were turned off. It seems that such a multicolored illumination might not be useful in fish keeping hobby. However, by replacing the ultraviolet LEDs by green LEDs, one would get the red, green and blue color components, and thus it would be possible to get any light color from just one single luminaire. Who knows, maybe this is a good idea? On the stand of the Ichthyotrophic, a company producing frozen fish food, visitors could take a look on alive food invertebrates. This is the tank with Daphnia. Apart from Daphnia, there were also shrimps, bloodworms and moina, and also glassworms. On the other side of the stand, there was a freezer with various types of frozen fish food. It is worth noting that a large part of food invertebrates offered by Ichthyotrophic is kept and bred in the company's own facilities. The Uvel company presented a biotoblike planted aquarium. A large root with a clump of microsorum fern and a small terrace in the middle of the tank filled with clumps of light green plants. A shoal of black neon tetras complemented this rather dark composition. Another aquarium shown by Uvel was a marine tank with several species of small fish. This is a female ras macropharyn godon bipartitus. And this is a ras pseudocalinus hexatenia. It seems that the whole community was kept in check by a small clownfish, which, as we can see, persistently defended its territory.
Tanks with discus fish were presented on several stands. One of the biggest was the stand of Superdiscus.pl, a Polish discus breeding company run by Andrzej Nowicki. Several varieties of discus fish were presented in an aquarium on a boat. The boat was tied up to a wooden pier where three other aquariums were presented. In the middle aquarium Andrzej Nowicki presented Heckel's discus, recently bred by him. Young hackers, already quite big, didn't care much about the presence of numerous visitors. With this breeding success of Polish discus breeder, I decided to finish the first part of my report about the zoological fur's pet fur. However, this is not the end of my story about pet fur. Two aquascaping contests were organized during the fairs. If you want to see the contest aquariums, take a closer look on the contest aquascapes and find out who won the contests. I invite you to watch the next two parts of my report about the 12th International Fair of Pet Shop Merchandise Pet Fair in Łódź.